Hi, Peter. Hi. Now, I have to ask, as a sort of shy little English person, what were you expecting me to get out of that very fascinating retreat, or whatever we call it, in Shanklin Isle of Wight, apart from a lot of lovely sea air? Well, I got a lot of lovely sea air. Did you get a lot of sea air? Yes. Did you bond with the sea? Oh, I bonded with the sea, and I bonded with a little train that took you there oh, from, yes, that was very sweet, from whatever it was, the, uh, we, where we landed, cows and all that stuff, and I bought myself a lovely case oh, yes, with wheels did. Yes, in the did. Shanklin bag shop. You did. So that, all that was good. But and I very much enjoyed my time at Shanklin on the retreat. I think it's fair to say I was the only bloke there. You were the only bloke there. How did you feel? How did you enjoy it? Well, I felt very much loved. Um, uh, that's for sure. And very much spoiled. But I, I think the truth was, the other people were there because they absolutely had things to do. You're right. Um, I was there because it was jolly interesting for me, um, and I wanted a lovely, um, uplifting weekend break. Now, what, with the people who are, you know, had thought about it, and had, you know, come up with their money and, and booked the space and said, I want to deal with X, how does that all work? How does it deal with their X? Because I hadn't thought of what my X was. Did you get, did you get any results? Well, I felt, um, I felt cheerier and better and um, uplifted, so, you know, if you're uplifted you can deal with anything. But I hadn't come with my ex, and I hadn't offered my ex to be solved, and everybody else had come with their ex, and they'd offered it, yes. and they felt they were some way towards solving it. I mean, I would say, in a way, that the, a lot of why I run these workshops is to help people get into that feel-good place. Um, and that in that feel-good place, yes, you leave feeling, I could do anything, I could go anywhere. And actually, it's relevant to come to that place with expectations or with no expectations. So what was it that made you feel happy and loved and lovable on the weekend? What was it? Well, all those very nice defences down, I'm going to be open, I'm going to talk about what matters to me, um, whether it's difficult or not. Um, I'm going to solve my problem, even if it would be easier just to leave it be. Yeah. People, people who were all those things, and that sort of raises the temperature in a nice way. It does. It? People it does. who are absolutely determined to get it fixed, and determined to be open, huh? and determined to share with people they'd never met. It's rather wonderful. Yeah. I found very touching. So actually, that was part of the key. The group experience, everybody yeah. opening up together, yeah. in return, opened you up. Yes. And made you feel loved. Yes. And took you into a feel-good place? It took me into a feel-good place. Unfortunately, since I haven't got an ex, I'm not suggesting I take you without problems, but I haven't got an ex and I brought in a box, a log in a box. No, so your, your life is going to be better. okay, yeah. But what did it help? I'm, I'm not saying it is, I just had a thought about what the X was. But when you came out, did it make that week feel a little bit smoother or in that feel good yes. place? Yes. Oh, absolutely. And I sailed through the week. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> but did you feel, uh, you were saying that you felt good and you felt loved, did you come away feeling more connected to your heart? Well, to that's love. another way of putting it. That's sense. another way of putting it. But. I wouldn't disagree with that. You felt more connected with your heart? I think, well, it's no Englishman would say readily that they felt more connected with their heart. But I was going, I was going along that path. I was along that path. Not that quite the full, you know, road from Cowes to Shanklin, not the full railway station, but I was inching it's along, coming, coming. inching along. And, and what's interesting is, you know, because you've been to quite a few events and things that I've mm. done in London, and so, can you see, did it feel different, obviously, coming away, taking a whole weekend to, to come? Yes, away? it was different, but because quite specifically, concentrating on individuals, concentrating on their particular problems, and, uh, and going through a set of, 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 a set of actions with them, which you can't do if you've got a sort of mass thing, you can raise people's temperatures generally and get them to interact a bit with each other, but you don't have that thing where you can work one on one like you did. Yes. So, you know what it sounds like to me as well is that you really uh, found how caring you are. It's steady on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you 
you might go on another retreat? Well, I mean, as long as it's not too far away. I mean, I can, <laughs> I can manage Shanklin. I don't think, I, uh, as for Timbuktu or <laughs> Estonia, maybe not. So Britain? I'm going to have to be Britain, yes. Yeah. The, yeah, it's part of the part of the doing the uh, part of the David weekend. Dimbledon, the David Dimbleby tour. Yeah, a weekend away. Yes, a weekend away, a nice weekend away. But yeah. you can, but you can understand the idea now of a, a workshop with a retreat somewhere far away to refresh, to get to get All back right. to yourself, to All come right. home into yeah. yourself, to feel your heart again. That makes sense to you now. Well, I can I can see it. I might not use exactly the same language. Yeah, what language would you use? I would. I'm, I'm not sure. It's quite a difficult translation. But um, feeling, you know, sort of coming to terms with things, feeling more comfortable about things, um, uh, um, gearing up to solve a problem, all those things I think can come out of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I, think it can, I think it's doable. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Um, so would you say, to, would you recommend other men? I would together? recommend that a whole mass of Englishmen go on retreats, preferably to Shanklin, it's a jolly nice place. You go a little train along the Isle of Wight and so on. And you could follow, you know, in a proper middle brow way, you could follow the David Dimbleby loveliness of England tour. And you could combine it with retreats. You could go to a retreat, every place that's nice, that's what you ought to do. You ought to set up your retreats on the path yeah. of the blessed David Dimbleby. It's a very good idea. It is a good idea. Good. I'm doing Christmas actually yeah. on the Isle of Wight. I'm um, going to do three days over Christmas. Catholic. Yeah, which is that. Yeah. So, but I think you're right. Go around Britain. Go around Britain. Concentrate on places of niceness because they encourage good, elevated feelings. Yes. So did you actually feel the sea was a nice thing for you? Oh, the sea is a nice thing for me. I, I can relate to the sea. It's vast surgingness. You enjoyed that? I like that, yes. And the bookshops? And the bookshops. <laughs>